Vit offers a handy feature called Pass Aliases. So let's see how it can be useful for us. I'm going to clear out our main JavaScript file, main.js. Then let's just go ahead and import this CSS file into our main.js file. And of course, to import that, I'm gonna have to write down the whole path, which leads to this CSS file, like this. And then let's add one more import, and we're going to import this image. So here, I'm gonna have to write the whole path to this image, which is contained inside img folder. And then inside index.html, I'm gonna add another img tag to display that image. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to use JavaScript for it. So let's select an element by an ID of image and assign the URL of an image to the source attribute, like this. So before switching over to the browser, we also have to change the extension of our main JavaScript file from TS on JS. And now let's see how it looks in a browser. So first of all, the imported CSS file was inserted onto the page in this style tag, and as we can see our JavaScript image is also displayed on the right side. But there is a chance that over time our project will become pretty large, with lots of different imports, and those imports sometimes can be pretty long. And just to avoid always mentioning the whole path whenever we need to import some module, Vid allows us to define so-called pass aliases, by using which we can drastically shorten our import pass. So let's just apply pass aliases for these two imports. As an alias, I'm going to use add sign. And soon we're gonna map this character to point to source as its folder. And to define our own pass alias, we have to open up the configuration file. And in here, let's add another configuration key called resolve, which will be an object with one more property called alias. And in turn, this will also be an object here we need to define the mapping between our pass aliases and actual pass that these aliases will be pointing to. So in here I'm going to define one aliases that I have used previously. It's this add sign. And as for the pass which this alias should be pointing to, I'm going to use node.js helper called resolve to resolve the pass to the folder source assets. As a first argument to this method, I'm going to pass the current directory name where this configuration file is located, and we can get it by using the name magic variable. And as a second argument, we should specify our folder where our pass ls will be pointing to. And at the top, let's just quickly test this out. I'm going to import this pass module and write console log statement, and then see what is actually be printed after calling that resolve method with those parameters. So in order to see this log, I'm gonna have to restart our dev server by running npm run dev. And right here we can see that pass that was printed by that method resolve. And it's exactly the pass that we need. So our pass alias will point to as its folder, which is located inside of source folder. And now in the browser, I'm not supposed to see any changes. So as we can see, the styles have been properly applied and the image is also displayed. So that means that our custom alias was properly configured. And while importing those modules, Vid has replaced that alias with the proper path that that alias points to. And in our case, it is the assets folder inside of source folder. So at the end, let's go back to our configuration file and get rid of this console log statement. And this is how we can leverage pass aliases in order to avoid long passes while importing modules.